and welcome, welcome to Courage to Change. And you are loved. Yes, you are. Courage to Change, one day at a time with al -Anon. These are excerpts daily to help us on our healing journey. And I embarked on my healing journey last year. Just a, <clears throat> gosh, just a new year already. And I'm doing this because after the loss of another family member due to addiction, I had to do something. I'm like, I have to do something. And this is my something. Stepping out to heal myself by doing these readings daily. And my hope is that if you're tuning in, that I am also helping you. It's the gift that keeps giving. So thank you for being here. This is January 2nd. Tuning to an alcoholic for affection and support can be like going to a hardware store for bread. Perhaps we expect a good parent for nurture and supporting our feelings or a loving spouse to comfort and hold us when we are afraid or a caring child to want to pitch in when we are ill or overwhelmed. While these loved ones may not meet our expectations, it is our expectations, not our loved ones, that have let us down. Love is expressed in many ways, and those affected by alcohol, alcoholism may not be able to express it the way we would like. But we can try to recognize love whenever and however it is offered. When it is not, we don't have to feel deprived. Most of us find an unfeeling source of love in Al-Anon. With the encouragement and support of others, we learn to treat our needs as important and appropriate and to treat ourselves as deserving. Today's reminder, today the alcohol, alcoholic may or may not be able to give us what we desire. And no one person will ever offer all that we require. If we stop insisting that our needs be met according to our will, we may discover that all the love and support we need is already at our fingertips. In Al-Anon, I discovered it in myself the power to throw new light on a seemingly hopeless situation. I learn I must use this power not to change the alcoholic over whom I am powerless, but to overcome my own distorted ideas and attitudes. And that is our quote from One Day at a Time in al -Anon. Expectations. That is one of the words that popped out at me, and maybe it also did for you. The expectations we have placed on others. And we would hope that they would show up in the manner that we want them to show up. Being that loving and nurturing parent. Being that caring, supportive friend. Unfortunately, that expectation is distorted. Due to the illness, due to the disease of an addiction, they're not able to. And we have this preconceived notion. We have this perception of who they should be, who we want them to be. And unfortunately, they can't live up to it. it. Takes a while to really understand that concept. It takes me reading these passages to understand that concept. Because see, 
when we have programmed ourselves that a best friend is with these qualities, a parent is with these qualities, these characters, right? These characteristics. And unfortunately, they don't live up to them. And we feel let down. I know that struggle firsthand. And it's okay to have the struggle. And this is why we have a Courage to Change book is to help us with our own personal struggle to go on a healing journey so we can heal the pain and the suffering, the frustration that we go through. So that word expectation hmm, might be time to get rid of it. And it might be time to think about those characteristics that you have about a certain individual in your life, and are they able to meet that characteristic right now? Right now, probably not. In the future, oh my gosh, let's hope so. But for now, it's all about you taking care of you. Taking care of you. This is January 2nd. It's the second day of a new year. And one of the things I embarked on is, you know, Einstein said, if we keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect a different result, and we don't get a different result, it is insanity. And you may find yourself having the same conversation, having the same frustrations, trying to wake somebody up, trying to get through to them. <laughs> Been there, done that. And getting the same result. Nothing. No change. One of the hardest things is to sit back and wait for the individual to finally admit that they want to change. And I pray for that each and every day, that it will happen. Because when it does, then we can help. Until then, stay on your healing journey. Heal from your frustration. Heal from your struggle. You are not meant to take on their burdens. You are meant to live a vibrant life. This is our reading for January 2nd. Thank you for being here. And yes, you are love.